Hello folks, I'm um, going to do some quick and easy scatter terrain today using all this gear I've got here. I've got some tufts from Army Painter, I've got Wasteland and uh, I can't remember the name of the other tufts. Badlands maybe, I think. Anyway, I've got two different types of tufts. I've got some Javis sort of uh, flock. I've got some Green Stuff World leaves which are made out of uh, or leaf litter. I made out of uh, seeds and I've got some great spot tombstones, some Sarissa um, bases. I'm going to leave these all attached, do everything attached and then break them out at the end I think. I've got 16 bases and I've got 20 tombstones so I've got a bit of, bit of movement there. And the last two things I'm going to use is some super glue to stick the tombstones down and some scenic glue for my scenic stuff. So nice and quick and easy. Probably not going to use the crosses on these. So these green stuff world ones are really good. Different heights on them, like they've sunk. Now I was reading last night because I was doing some research. These aren't going to have any sort of humps on the graves. So I was reading last night, and the tombstones don't normally get put down until a year after the grave has been made, um, that proper tombstones, they normally just put a cross down or a plank of wood. And then once the grave's settled after a year, then they put the tombstone on. Um, so there's gonna be no raised sort of ground. This is a nice little one, wonky donkey. Broken one. The base. What else we got there? Quite like that one. And that one. Oh yeah. I've got a couple left as well. So I'm just gonna super glue all these down real quick. And then we'll do some some of the other bits. I'm just gonna you don't need to see me super glue these down, so it'll be a bit dull. So I'll be back in a sec. Right, we're back. What I've done, done both rows facing each other, so I can go with the glue and with the flock. Um, fueled today by Monster, as always. Ah, that was an exaggerated R, but I don't drink like that. Um, what I'm going to do is get some scenic glue. Sprinkle, sprinkle, sprinkle all around the whole lot. Don't worry about going over the edges. Um, so we do that now. Uh, I'll show you what I mean. Oh my gosh. Couldn't get the lid off then. So, stick a wadge in the middle. And I'm going to do the whole lot, then I'm going to sprinkle the flock. What I'll do is I'll do the whole lot, sprinkle the flock, and we'll come back. We're back. Right, now you probably think I've now this right up, because I've put flock on before I've done anything else. But it's purely there for texture, so I'm not too worried about the colour. That's why I use some Javis stuff, which I've got tons of. In reality, I use very little. It's to add texture um, to, the, to the ground. I'm going to do then, once PVA, PVA is dry, so I'm going to give it a blast of black, black spray paint. I'm going to paint all the mud, paint all the tombstones, dry brush all the tombstones, and then we'll put on a top layer of flock, foot show grass, the leaf mould, and obviously the tufts as well. But what I need to do is get a bit of texture down first of all before I start anything, um, just to give it a bit of a... Ooh. Now hopefully, these, these should still pop out when I'm done. I might have to cut between them. They're not held in very well, so it should just pop straight out. If not, we'll come to that bridge when we come to it. It's easier than having them all individual, I think, just to have them like this. So we should see. So I'll wait for this PVA to dry. I'll give it a coat of black. We'll come back on the painting. All right then, so this has now been primed in black and I've gone over it with some uh, sand color. 
a bit of a zenithal, but not quite. Um, I'm going to paint all the gravestones in slate grey. And then I'm going to paint uh, the dirt in a dirt colour. And then we'll come back. There we go, all painted. Now all we need to do is give them a quick dry brush with a light stone colour. Um, and then add the flock on afterwards. So I'm going to give them all a dry brush. And then I'll add the flock. I'm going to use this light grey from Ammo. I'm just going to dry brush the rest and then I'll be back. So now they've all been dry brushed. You've also noticed, probably noticed I've popped them out from their bases just to make this last bit of uh, flocking a little bit easier. And use this Javis, which I've put into a pot. Oh, I've just tipped some everywhere. Oh no, the lid wasn't on. Oh no. Ah, mess. It's okay. The lid wasn't on properly. I apologise for my daughter in the background. Uh, Sorry about that. Um, I just need to put the last bit of flock on and some tufts and a bit of leaf litter, and we're all done. Um, so, let's start with this one quick. On my scabby brush that I was using earlier on. There we go. There we go. There we go, flocked. Things let that dry, then I'll add some a little bit of leaf litter and some tufts. I'm gonna go ahead and flock the rest of these off camera and then we'll come back once they're dry. Right then folks, so I've got some leaves down as well as some tufts on top of the green. Uh, next thing I'm gonna do is use AK Interactive to carry on a band weathering set with the moss deposits. Put some moss on all the gravestones just because they've been there a little while. After that, it's pretty much done, done and dusted. Um, so I'll put the moss on and we'll come back afterwards. And there we go, when they're all finished. Added some moss. Just move my lights. There we go. Got his Anvil Industry Zombie. His base is a little bit raised up. He fits in fine. One of my Maud Hunt figures. He fits in fine as well. Use them for different game systems. Gonna make a crypt next, I think. Um, probably out of foam borders, I've got plenty of it. Um, I might 3D print something. I might 3D print a couple of statues. Talking of statues, obviously my, oopsie. The hero of the Soviet Union in there as well. And then obviously I've got two 
two seconds. Oh dear, it's broken his gun. Got one of my metal miniatures as well. Same basing technique. Fits in along with that as well. Right then. That's it from me.